hey guys you are welcome back and today's video i will show you how to make cassava fufu also called apple santana or loi loi i'll show you how to make that today in the comfort of your home so if you are interested just relax balance well and get your favorite soup ready so to make this we need cassava also known as joka um as you can see this one is oibo oibo cassava see how it is shining so go ahead and peel the skin out sometimes getting um the skin to peel is not very very easy but if you follow this pattern it will be much easier for you cassava is also used in making gare and abacha in case you don't know okay this is what we use also to make gare and abacha after peeling off the skin go ahead and slice the cassava into very small chunks and make sure you remove all the black parts because we don't want anything to stain our apple after cutting the cassava into very small chunks go ahead and wash several times then transfer to a very big bowl Now add 1 tablespoon of baking soda. Baking soda will help to hasten up the fermentation process. Some people use nail for this but I'm just not comfortable with that okay. I prefer baking soda and because this is oibo cassava you can just leave it like that. You need something to hasten up the, the fermentation process. So add water, cover it and keep in a very warm place for 4 days. This was on the 4th day. As you can see our cassava is still here. Okay, <laughs> It is still here but now we are going to remove the water on top of it and blend the cassava. At this point it has not um, fermented. Normally cassava like usually takes about 4 to 5 days to ferment. But because we are dealing with Oyibo, American cassava here, it is going to take longer time. So here it is still hard, okay? Now I'm going to use my blender and blend everything. After blending the cassava, the next thing is to sieve and to do that, I use this my mesh sieve. So just pour in the blended cassava. You can either use your hand or a spatula to um, move it around. You can also add water to help you to extract all the starch or all the flour. Then once you are done doing that, the ones that will be left are the residue. That's the pulp or the fibrous part. Of the cassava at this stage I decided to switch to my hands okay i don't even know why i'm doing oibo on top of apple <laughs> so i just dropped the spatula and i used my hands for more efficiency So 
so now i'm done sieving the cassava this is the pulp or the fibrous part and this is what we need we are not yet done okay now we are going to cover this up and keep in a very warm place and leave it to ferment for more six to seven days okay i know it's a very long time but if you really want to enjoy apple you have to give it the time so keep in a warm place i usually leave it in my oven and i turn on the oven light okay that's the bulb inside the oven just to keep this warm so this was after seven more days and this is how it is looking and it is ready at this point so just sieve out the water that are on top of it and let's move over to the next um, stage which is making our cassava fufu so at this point you can also transfer it to a muslin bag and remove the excess water if you want to turn it into solid okay you can transfer to a muslin bag that is the bag we use in making pap but most probably if you live abroad you won't have mortar and peso so i'm going to show you how you can make it without pounding it at all i added about five spoons of this into a pot and on a medium heat i just started stirring it vigorously because you don't want it to form lumps again if you want to store this you can just put it inside a container and store in your fridge or your freezer if you want it to stay for more than a week the best place to store it is a freezer but if you will if you are going to use it within a week it is okay to keep it in the fridge anytime you want to use it just bring it out let it uh, melt then dissolve it the way you dissolve pap transfer into a pot and just um just do it this way so that is how to make it it is very very easy okay when you are stirring it it will be as if it wants to form lumps don't even worry about that just keep on stirring it on medium to low heat let everything will just be fine So at this point it is beginning to take shape now look at how beautiful it is and this fufu it doesn't smell too much but it does have that authentic fufu smell okay the, the smell is not too much okay but it is just perfect i just hope you try out this okay just try it out make sure you follow all the steps so yeah i just like cooking my fufu for maybe one minute just to be sure that everything is very well cooked so i just added about three tablespoons of water i covered the pot and i cooked for between 30 seconds to one minute and after that i gave it the last stay so this is how to make your cassava fufu abroad okay this is how to make it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please give me a thumbs up okay just click on that like button click on that like button i don't know why you guys don't like doing that click on that like button please and also share this video and i'll see you in my next one <music>